Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this particular video, we will learn that how to remove duplicates and errors in Microsoft Power BI. So first we will import the data. So get data from Excel workbook, removing duplicates and errors file, click on open. Select the table one and click on transform data to go directly in the Power BI. All right, so first here with uh, after reading the data, we will do some corrections and we can observe something uh, unnecessary things available in our data. So we will clean that. Uh, first, we have the order ID column in which you can see the order ID based on numbers. But in one entry, we have the spelling, which is Belgium. And this entire row is null. So we don't want this record here. So what we can do is open the filter and we can just exclude the Belgium from this filtering menu. But what if, if the data is too large and there are a lot of spellings or any other mess up data, so it will take a lot of time to exclude from this filtering option, right? So the best way is to uh, basically remove these kind of uh, errors or, or you can say these kind of messy data. Uh, first, we will select the order ID column and if you can see that order ID should be have a data type format of uh, whole number okay uh, so we will as soon as we correct this data type format the belgium has converted into an error now if i open this filter menu the error is not shown here so how to delete this entire raw very simple we will click on remove raws and here we have that feature available remove errors and it will entirely that draw is entirely removed right the next thing is how to remove duplicates. So for example, if you can observe in the order ID, we have five transactions, whereas the transaction third and fourth is exactly same. So you can compare this entire record, okay, which is same. So if I uh, go to remove rows and if I say remove duplicates, so that duplicate row has been removed. But let me undo this step and tell you one more thing. If I select order ID and if I also select the shipping country by holding the control key and left key and then I go to remove rows and when I click on remove duplicates, it's now not removing the duplicates because as I told you in earlier videos that Power Query is a case sensitive tool. Uh, the M language is written here is also case sensitive and most of the time it reads the case sensitive parts. So as you can see this entry is particularly duplicate but in the shipping country the spelling of france is uh, basically one is a case sensitive and other is in a small letter so it's still it's recognizing its case sensitivity and it's not removing it so if i still want to remove it then just select the order id and remove duplicates the next thing is that if you can see in the freight column where all the amounts are written but in one cell it's an error by default okay so we want to replace the error so i will select this column I will go to transform and in the replace value drop down menu, I will select replace errors and I will put a number here which will be zero. So instead of zero, instead of errors, it will show a zero. And now the format is being correct. So all the steps which I was applying on this interface has are been recorded here, right? Now I will go to the home tab and close and apply and my data is ready to make a report or a dashboard out of it. Thank you.